All right, so in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play Lion coming into year seven of Rainbow Six Siege. We're going to go over things like his loadout, how to correctly play him, some basic and advanced tips for Lion. And at the very end of the video, I'm going to go over some gameplay clips of me playing Lion so that you better know how to play Lion going into ranks. With all of that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. All right, so first let's talk about his loadouts. He has a lot of good options here. He has the option between the V308, his own assault rifle that does 44 damage with a 50 round drug mag. This is a really good weapon. The only thing I don't quite like is the fire rate, but it has a variety of scopes that really make up for that. Also, he has the option between the 417. I really like the 417. I use that on Sens more than I use his AR, and honestly, I use it on Lion more than I use it on his AR. That's personal preference, though. This is a lot of scopes on this DMR. I think every single scope is on this DMR, actually. Yeah, even the three times. So, a lot of versatility there. 69 damage with 20 bullets on a DMR. Very, very good. I love this. Almost zero recoil, honestly, especially with the 1.5 muzzle and vertical grip. I love this gun. So, very viable. So is the V308. And if you know how to play a shotgun on attack, which most people don't, this is a great shotgun. The range is insane, the damage is insane. Seven bullets, but still pretty good. I just personally wouldn't recommend it when you have this good of other options as well. But if you're playing somebody like Dokubi, then yeah, you know, shotgun's pretty good. But going into his secondary, so he has the option between the revolver, the P9, and the GON6. You're going to always bring the GON6 unless you have the 417 or the shotgun as your primary. Then you need an actual secondary in case you run out of ammo. But when you have a 50 round drum mag, you're not going to need that secondary as much. And the GON6 really helps your team. So personally, I would do the assault rifle GON6 combo or the 417 and one of the pistols combo. I'm a Giga Chad, so I run the 417 and the GON6 because you know i just one tap heads don't gotta worry about reload but <laughs> that's just me personally anyways uh you have the option between the stun grenade and the claymore for your secondaries both are viable honestly depends on what you want if you have a nomad if you have a teammate that can watch a drone then bring the flash grenades but other than that personal preference on that with all of that out of the way though, I'm going to bring you into a custom game and give you some actual tips on Lion and how to play him correctly. Alright, so I brought you to Theme Park. Theme Park is one of those maps where there's a lot of horizontal space and not a lot of vertical space. What does this mean? This means that you have to roam clear a lot, and something that Lion is very good at is helping with a roam clear. So, if I break open the store... As you can see, you start at the very beginning of the map, and you go all the way to the very end of the map. There's a lot of horizontal space that needs to be covered. So if I were to go and let's say I wanna push bunk side, I would need to roam clear all of cash, all of bathroom, all of top dragon, all of office, bank. I have all of these little rooms to cover, not to mention staircases and re -droning. So Lion mitigates this. Just like operators, like Jackal or Dokubi, they just make the roam clear go faster. And the cool thing with Lion is it makes defenders have to stand still. And I'll tell you why later. Essentially, Lion's ability, you activate it. And anybody that's moving is red pinged like that. And you also are able to identify who they are. So because I scanned and the mute moved, my scan actually showed that it was a mute and it made it go from a question mark to a mute. So that's a little cool side tip. It actually identifies the person that's being scanned. So the thing about Lion is the way that you counter that scan is you just sit still as a defender. If you sit still, the scan is void. Now you may be thinking that's pretty useless. Why would you ever run Lion? Well, if you know where the defenders are, let's say you've droned them and you scan, now they're sitting still. So let's say that I know that the mute is in the hallway all across there by that little coconut painting right there. I've droned him, I know he's there. So because I've droned all the way there and I know he's there, I can scan the room. And now I can run all the way up to bunk or office, I'm sorry. I can run all the way up to this little waiting room area and I can take all of this space on the map without having to worry about the defender moving to contest me because he's currently under a lion scan. So that's my first tip is drone out the defenders first, get some initial information on the room they might be sitting in, scan, and then take all of the control of the rest of the rooms around you while the scan is active so the defenders can't move. With Lion, you're always going to be useful whenever you hit your scan button because there's no real counterplay and there's no real difficulty using the ability. So that's a pretty advanced way to play Lion, but if you're randomly throwing out Lion scans, 
they can still be just as beneficial to your team if you know how to play around it. You can also scan while in mid gunfight with somebody. If you're in the middle of a gunfight with somebody, you and that person are constantly moving while you're in the gunfight, and a lion scan either A makes them sit still or gives you pings when they're moving. Jesus Christ. And now you have red pings in the middle of a gunfight that can help you get wall bangs or nice pre-fires that you wouldn't have been able to get before. But there are some counters to Lion. Vigil, if he activates his ability, can't be seen by a Lion scan. Also, if you're within a mute jammer, you can't be seen by a Lion scan. So I have a guy who's gonna sit in a mute jammer and be moving, but it's not gonna ping him, watch. He's moving, not seen by a Lion scan because he's in a mute jammer. So some little basic counters to Lion. And one of my final tips that I want to bring you is you can save a lot of these lion scans for late round. Don't be lion scanning at the very beginning of the round because the defenders are just going to sit still. You're not going to gain any ground and it's going to be overall pretty useless. You only have three of these things, so you have to use them sparingly. But a really good way to use these lion scans is to save them for post plan. So if you have the diffuser down and you have scans left, you can scan and that makes the defenders either have to waste time by sitting still, further downing that timer on the diffuser, or if they're not going to waste time, which is probably the smart move anyway, you'll be able to see them on a red ping whenever they're moving to go get the diffuser, giving you more information, maybe giving you a free gunfight. So just another tip is Lion. All right, so I brought you into a recording of me playing Lion on Coastline. I think this is a good example of how I would use a Lion scan in one way, and I'm just going to get straight into it and show you how I did it. So first of all, as Lion, you always want pre-placed drones into the place that you're pushing. This is just because, like I said earlier in the video, you want to have info on the person that you're pushing so that when you Lion scan, if he does stay still, you know exactly where he's going to be because he's not moving. And if he does move, you have pings on him. So either way, you know where he is. Attacker's objective is to defuse a bomb. So, right here, I redrone the area I'm gonna walk into, and then I scan. I scan so that if anybody walks into VIP or they walk into theater as I'm pushing and taking the space, I'll know, I'll have a ping on them, and I'll get a free kill. If not, I see no movement, then I just get free space, and maybe an attacker across the map that my teammates in a gunfight with could get pinged as well. So, just taking space, making sure nobody takes my space after I've already droned it, nobody walks in that I don't have info on. Just a good example of a lion scan. <clears throat> so again, I knew where a defender was, I knew one was based off a sound call, and I knew one was on the deployable shield because she just killed our teammate. He, sorry, it's a Jaeger. And I used the lion skin again to take space. He was just in a gunfight. I know he's not going to be peeking the shield because he doesn't know that I'm even here. But also, I want to be able to move forward without having to worry about getting swung. And if I do get swung, I'll know they're swinging because I'll have a ping on him first. So again, good use of a lion skin here. And then I just lose the gunfight. I was trying to bait the smoke out of Vase so I could kill him, but I just lost the gunfight. Unfortunate. But again, two very good uses of a light scan. So again, as you can see, this is another round. I got a pre-placed drone in the same spot because they're kitchen now, and we have a sledge, and I want to help him push above. Roam clear takes space a lot easier and faster, so we can maybe get some vertical play, vertical kills easier and faster. So I have a pre-placed drone where I know I'm going to be pushing, VIP again. So again, stressing the point, keep a pre-placed drone wherever you're going. So, I redrone, 
because I know maybe there's a guy that's sitting up there now. It's pretty common for people to want to hold VIP, again, because of somebody like me and my sledge trying to get vertical control. So I know I need to read drone, see if anybody's in there before I just run in with my gun and my lion skin. I see a guy and I lion scan. I lion scan here because he now only has one of two options. Option A, he can sit still, but I've just droned him, so I know exactly where he's going to be. So I can pre-fire somebody sitting still. Or option two, he can move around because he knows that I just droned him and I can get pings on where he is anyways and still know where he is. The smartest play, what he could do in his position is just leave VIP. So one lion scan just completely roam cleared everything that we would need for VIP. Now he doesn't leave, he doesn't make the smart decision and he just sits where I droned him and watch what happens. I get a free kill. I knew he was sitting either behind the circle desk or behind this desk right here, based off of where my drone was killed. So if you think about it, one lion scan completely gave us vertical control and it got me a kill. That is how you can use lion correctly. If you use lion to gain map control, to clear out roamers, I promise you, you will win so many more ranked games. He is one of those characters where if you play him, you have three things that are able to be used extremely easily and are always going to help your team. So if you pick up Lion in general, you're always going to be helpful. But if you learn how to play him extremely correctly, you're going to be even more helpful. So easy to learn, easy to master, and I definitely recommend you pick up Lion.